Hello everybody! You thought I was gone, didn't you? Nope. I'm going to real quick go ahead and talk about these spinner baits while I'm uh, putting them up. Not today, Satan. We're doing a live video whether you like it or not. Anyway, I'm going to show you real quick what I've done to a few baits and how you can modify your baits on the spinner bait especially just the simplest way is to change out the blade or you, some people you can play with the length of this also like you see this one how it runs this blades further out I'm gonna shorten it a little bit I want a small more small compact and I'll tell you why real quick now this one I've already done if you can make it out this thing was way out there crazy now it's closer still works looks good but it was a bigger bait I made it a little small small and compact I do not like to run trailer hooks on my spinner baits I don't run them on my chatter baits and the main reason they recommend on spinner baits and some people buzz baits too on a buzz bait sometimes you'll have them going up there hitting at the blade or whatever on a spinner bait if this blade up here is way back too far like this bait is probably okay I'm gonna shorten it a little bit but if the bass comes up and say a big bass comes up a lot of times they'll hit back here they're aiming for that blade they completely miss this hook to where a lot of people say that trailer hook will be closer back there to get them wherever they may accidentally you know they may put it in their mouth as they're going for the blade or whatever but what I like to do on all of mine first of all I like to run smaller than normal because there's the one that has caught me all those fish had that crazy day look how short that is you guys see how this that is not modified by me that's the way it came I caught all those fish did not have and you see that's a pretty good size hook but it, and it's getting a little rust on it it's probably several years old with no trailer all the fish that I've caught on spinner baits chatter baits or whatever never running the trailer and that's the main reason why like this film this one is not messed with but I do run like a uh, and also I don't run like any on my spinner baits on my chatter baits I do I put a not just a trailer hook I put a trailer on like this or you know a crawl and then on a bait that you do have fairly long blades big blades you want to keep them go ahead and add you a swim bait some kind of tail on here that will make them want to hit this more so than the big blade but what I'm gonna to try to do this year is I'm gonna to try to actually keep all of my spinner baits small compact no matter if they're half ounce quarter ounce I don't think I fish anything heavier than a half ounce it's a half ounce uh, KVD right there came with uh, I think when I got my uh, depth finder that spinner bait came with it that's how it shows you how much I use spinner baits it's caught some fish, but it's not any kind of game changer changer for me when it comes to uh, spinner baits. But like, for instance, look at this. this. is a cheap one I just bought. Here's the one that did all the work. And you can see, see how much shorter that is. So I'm probably going to go ahead and shorten that that one also, and maybe even I may go ahead and it's time to shorten the KVD up some. How do you do that, you ask? I'll tell you real quick before I end this video. It's real simple. These you've probably seen. I use these for everything. I don't even know what brand those are. But I recommend you get you a pair of split nose pliers. They work awesome for everything. So all you're going to do is you're going to decide, first of all, that you, you want to change it. So be careful. You don't want to tweak this wire any more than you have to. So you're just going to come in and you're going to open it enough to let this slide on by, which sometimes can be a trick if it's real stout wire. And it's especially hard to do when I'm trying to hold it and film and all that stuff. But you're basically going to get that out of your way maybe hang on okay
Now, I don't use an exact science to it. I just get it kind of where I think I want it. I will use this one for sort of a guideline for tonight. So if you want it, we'll try it exactly the way that one is. You're going to need to leave room for that bend. And probably by the time I cut it right there, and by the time I get it bent, it'll be real close to that length. So I'm just going to cut off that much. See that? Then all I'm going to do is rewrap it. Hi. Then all I'm going to do is rewrap it. Now you can do this before or after, but before you really kink it down tight, you got to have to put this back on. So we'll just slide it on now, and then we'll pull it up to where it needs to be here shortly. It doesn't matter which way, because it's on a swivel, so there's no wrong way to put it on. So then you're going to want to, and there's a trick, you want to try to keep it straight. See how that's straight in line? I want to try to keep it straight and just get the end of that tight and I'm going to twist it around this end of the needle nose. Let's twist it back around just like that and that's probably go a little more and it doesn't have to end in any certain shape it all you're doing is twisting that back around to where you can get this on the other side kink those two together now to where this can escape and you've shortened up your not by a lot and a lot of times that what that should do is going to let it run a lot of times it don't let it run any different but if anything it it'll let it actually go just a touch deeper at the, say the same retrieve speed as the one sticking up higher before it'll put a little closer to this one so but it should it should be fine and it's just one of those things you just got to try them you may want to do that and also go to a smaller blade or you can switch out blades or whatever you want to do with the split ring it's not a what i found anyway with my spinner baits it's not really the a, a spinner bait to me is almost a spinner bait. It's what color, maybe color blade. I don't think any brand matters. That's why I do get the cheap ones from time to time. When the spinner bait bite is working, it's usually just working. If you find the right color, they seem to be on at that given time. This can be difficult. This is a. You got to get it all the way closed to where it's not going to let that. You don't want to cast and then lose this on the cast. So you got to get it completely closed up, which I'm trying to talk to you guys and do that in front of the camera can, can suck. I don't want to go too far. That's. It's about there. I think that's got it. So like that. Now I can usually do it a lot quicker than that. We just shortened it up just a little. That's just about right. A little. It was kind of a compact bait anyway. Now it's pretty much doesn't weigh quite as much as this guy but it's pretty much just as compact and small of a little profile bait for the fish it's not anything near which they're very close and a lot of times it makes no difference either of these out when a spinnerbait bite is on and generally they'll get hit this one will go deeper just for the fact that it's a half ounce this one needs to be reeled a lot slower to get it down so anyway, I hope you like that video as I get out of here. I don't know. You guys want to see something? That was only spinner baits I have. Everything else you see in this box, that is all, well, right here. There's some, the little pond magics. There's a handful of those. All this 
is my chatterbait stuff. All these are chatterbait uh, pieces. Some of them are whole baits, but they're either pieces or just a chatterbait uh, naked. There's a cheap one I got. That cheap one came off of uh, AliExpress or eBay. There's one I made with rattles. I took the skirt off for something else. I've always been playing with chatterbaits. Anyway, I got the jackhammer thrown in there. And you see all the, I've, I have several different size chatterbaits, blades, extra blades. You can, it's hard to do, but you can switch out blades if you really needed to. I only recommend doing it once. Once you bend this once and back, it's probably going to break if you try to do it again. I only do that if I really feel I really need to. I can pretty much order, you can get any bait, any color head with whatever size blade it, or color blade you want. There's a shell cracker. I took the skirt, used it for something. It's gotten chewed up, but that is an awesome one. Also, Omega Custom Tackle. This dude right here is my oldest. <laughs> it doesn't look like much. That is my oldest, and people tell you like, oh, the Z-Man Originals suck. That baby right there has caught a ton of fish, and it's going to catch some more. The hook, I've never sharpened it, I don't think. But these babies still work. I don't care what anybody says. You can't really, I do have branched out, have a few different brands of different types, but that sucker, most of them I've lost. I've gone through several, but this one, at one time I considered it my lucky chatterbait because it just caught them in the bayou crawl color right and left when when the other you know just it was color thing the colors weren't working that bayou crawl was just flat out pulling in some fish where is my bayou crawl color i was going to show you guys here we go here we go that is what it looked like well sort of looked like new that bayou crawl color it's just got the yellow on the belly and I don't know where my other bait is they've since switched it up yeah here it is I bought a new one here's one from like I don't know beginning of the year maybe I bought and here's one I bought and ordered from I think tackle warehouse this year that's supposed to be bayou crawl but you guys tell me that is not the same exact bait anyway but they kind of do that stuff to you sometimes but the point I was trying to make all that kind of all this are my chatter baits, and I know a lot of guys have more, but I'm just telling you I dominate this box with chatter baits. I do have up until now I had five or six left. I I don't know. One time I probably had 25 or 30 spinner baits. I just don't use them. I either give them away, they get lost. I don't go looking for them. So it was time to replenish that box. I am anxious to try the Z-Man. I've never tried these. And I'll probably leave it just the way it is. Maybe. Get it out of the package. Yeah, it's a that's a small size. Uh, what did I get? Three eighth, three eighths of an ounce. But you could if you wanted to, you could shorten it up just a hair, but they they probably just got that one designed to work pretty good like that. Trust me, if I throw this and I miss a fish or two, that baby's getting shortened up. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was also going to compare these. I didn't have one to look at. I didn't take time while I was up there because I think they sell, I think... I just didn't look at the pond magics, but I was thinking about this on the way home. I wanted to see what the uh, 316 Strike King bleeding baits size wise is compared to the pond magics. 
and it is a little bit, which that's what I wanted, a little bit bigger. See how it's just a little bigger? I think those will work real good too. And the Pond Magic, same concept, just real small, but see where that blade's like riding right above that hook? That's what, no matter what size I have, I really kind of like. This one's a little further back. This one already looks like it's tweaked right out of the box. See that? That's kind of straight and that's curved way over. This thing's probably going to run funny right out of the box. So here's the bait. Oh man, I got a mess to clean up. I got everything. It looks like Emily's been in my tackle box. How does this thing has plastic going all the way through it? I can't get this one open. Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. So as I end the show, in case you didn't realize what I was talking about in the other video. See, all of that is also lead part of the weight of this bait. That's why this one... Although it's rated at a half ounce, it looks like a little bitty bait. It, like, it does not look like it should weigh a half ounce. It's a small, compact weight. You can reel it uh, kind of fast, and it's still getting down deeper. You slow it down, it's going to get you know even deeper. But that bait, that color right there, the gold blades with that chartreuse on, especially like cloudy, rainy, stormy, overcast days, that's the day it was when it just kicked in and was whacking them, the big ones. Best uh, spinner bait bite I've ever been on was with these baits right here. That's why I've, I already had like two or three. I think I've got. Yeah, I had another one in the chartreuse and then a chartreuse and white one. But I went ahead and picked up a few more. Because when it's a bait that really works, you can't really have too many of them. Alright guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to clean this mess up and go to bed. I'll take a shower. Thanks for watching guys. Now get out of here. Go bass and bonsai for yourself. Oh boy. Uh oh. You tell them I'm coming and you tell them I'm bringing Mac Daddy with me. Mm -hmm.